Hello everyone and welcome back to Halo 5 Guardians where today for the bonus video, part one I guess, uh, we'll be going through the audio logs. They weren't like normal terminals for Halo 5 but there were all these many 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 data pads. Uh, I think they're all fairly level contextual. I'm not sure people were saying that maybe I should have been trying to pick them up as I go through, but I'd have never found them all anyway, and then we'd have just reheard them on this, so I don't think it matters that much, but uh, this video shows what mission the intel was found in, so that's the that's the context of it, I guess. We will uh, we will see how it goes. They're all really short, apparently, so uh, yeah, it's kind of different to all the other terminals, but let's have a listen and uh, see if there's any interesting info to be gleaned. Interesting. Jewel and Dharma. They're being played in the order. Let me go. I'll just pause it so I don't talk over it because they're pretty continual. They're, the reason that the person's moving up and down between them in this video is because they're being played in the order that they are found in the level. Uh, so yeah, and also... There's this little bit down the bottom here, uh, which says who it is speaking and what it is that's going on. So there's a bit of extra context there, it looks like. But Halsey was not able to bring alert system down in time. Promethean forces will arrive within the hour. This human is more trouble than she is worth. Well, I've got good news for you, Joel. This is consistent with previous, I hesitate to call them messages, that implies communication. This is more like echolocation, a signal bouncing off Forerunner objects, mapping, searching for something. But what? What could she think to find? A guardian. We have penetrated the structure that was a focal point for the last signal. I have yet to gain access to anything informative. Jules' people are more concerned with ceremony than allowing me to do my work. <laughs> Obtain scans of new Forerunner glyphs. One is completely new. Running the other through the system revealed it contains a similar design to an ancient Sanghili symbol. This symbol referred to a demon who sleeps in the ground and must not wake. How this relates to the signal, I am unsure. Hmm. Sanghili symbol because they knew there was All one on their the planet. All I would expect from a forerunner structure of this scale are erratic at best. I'm beginning to wonder if the signal is in fact bouncing off these locations, as I theorized, or if she is trying to access them directly and failing. Okay, blue team. Compound Asteroidia 59B results observed. While subjects were sickened, they all recovered with no recorded fatalities. Need to return to the formula and find a way to increase toxicity. Compound Asteroidia 61F results observed. While observed morbidity in subjects was satisfactory, LD50 level not adequate. Need to be able to reach a level that maximizes efficiency. Compound Asteroidia 472A results observed. We almost have a candidate here. Sufficient morbidity, adequate LD50. However, we must shorten its half-life. So this is interesting. I was told... Uh that this, this base that we were on in the second level, Argent Moon, like a lot of nasty shit happened there. And it sounds like from these, they were trying to trying to create some lethal uh, bioweapon, potentially. And they're like, oh, it's getting more lethal, but we need to make it faster acting and this, that and the other. So it was probably for the best that we ended up blowing that thing out of the sky. Is it still called blowing it out of the sky when it's in space? Blowing it out the... 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 <laughs> blowing it out the nothing that space is. This is Rooker, ship AI Argent Moon. Recording this as a warning to any Oni personnel who try to reclaim Argent Moon. Her air is not safe for humans to breathe. I repeat, her air is unsafe. Difficult to record this. We now have 100% fatality rate from the Asteroidia accident. Those near the accident site died almost instantly, liquidized from the inside out. They were the lucky ones. Oh, it got out? It was vaporized and quickly entered the air system. It 
slowly spread through the rest of the station. Symptoms took minutes or hours to arrive, depending on distance from epicenter. But none of the crew escaped its effects. Following the massive failure of containment protocols, I am making the decision to quarantine this ship. I've set a course that will keep it clear of any inhabited systems and jettisoned what remains I can into open space. I am now six months past past my expiration date. It's clear that I can't manage this station any longer. Ooh. I never could, and so I'm initiating final dispensation. He's going rampant. Oh, final dispensation. That's what um Del Rio ordered to, to be done to Cortana when she started going a bit nuts on his ship. So I guess that's uh and the the end of a AI's life is final dispensation and he was he was doing it to himself there, it sounds like. Yikes. Right, on to Glast. It's a hell of a thing to return to your home. Find it completely different. Ruined. I couldn't prepare myself for the cold feeling that struck my heart when that elevator rolled down through the planet's atmosphere. The world I knew was gone. We started cutting through the glass today, making a road to a site they've picked out to set up a shanty town they call Meridian Station. I'm starting to wonder if I can do this. Most of the folks here are signed up for the profit. I'm the only one who's here trying to take something back. But there's just so much. I look out on that sea of glass and I, I wonder if it can really ever be done. Today I found myself working alongside another former colonist, tough old broad named Lottie. I told her about what I'd been feeling. She laughed in my face. She told me, sister, you gotta forget about what Meridian was and think about what it could be. I like that. So now when I chip away the glass, I picture a new world we're making. Got Good philosophy. From Bozo, a warthog, three mongoose, and five pelicans. Checked them, and they're all completely clear of identifiable markings. Bozo, contrary to his nickname, knows his business. I've been putting together a retrospective on Meridian in these, her final days. Records indicate that 139 ships carrying 70,003 souls arrived on this green ball in 2432. Since many of those settlers came from France, they named the first town Avignon and established the colony of Meridian. Early on, there was a big debate over the future of Meridian. Some wanted it to stay unspoiled and undeveloped. Others wanted to build it out. The debates between these stewards and prospectors came to an end when rich mineral deposits were found in the Mathan mountain range, causing a rush of new development as everyone tried to claim their peace. Ah, oh, gotta love a gold rush. On to Meridian Station. I found a body in the glass today. Shook me up. <clears throat> Doc Kale said I should talk about it, so here. I'm talking about it. Think I'm done now. <laughs> Meridian didn't get it too bad. They hit the human settlement hard, sure, and the plasma bombardment boiled some of the oceans off, but there was enough atmosphere to hold some steam in. Coveys did a rush job, and the planet survived. Less than a third is Le Chatelier, right? So we chip away at the worst parts like cutting a rod off an apple. Quick job. Should be done inside of 20 years. Oh, right, the that's... They used the glass plant. That's why the previous mission was called Glass. I never even thought about it, because you don't tend to see the names of the missions that much, because it's not part of the MCC where you have the loading screen in between each one. So I don't think I realised that Glassed was about Meridian, and Meridian itself had been Glassed. That makes more sense. Burns so hot, most stuff just vaporises. But sometimes there's a flicker in the beam and the temp drops just enough. That's how you get stuff that's still intact. And yeah, sometimes you get bodies. It's ugly, but I didn't get hung up about it. What gets me, though, is the dogs. Just excavated a homestead and there was a leash leading under the porch. So I'm taking a day off. Cleared deep the other day. Cut through what used to be a forest. Dug through the glass and cracked right into a natural cave formation. Found actual plant life and pools of standing water with little white bugs hopping around in them. After working sterile glass for so long, seeing those bugs done me a world of good. Running a top-level D-glass south of the populated area, and we hit some kind of metal we couldn't cut through. Ran a pole 
pulse and we got echoes of a subterranean structure or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not on the anthro team. The thing is, there's loose soil beneath it. So whatever that metal is, it shrugged off a direct plasma bombardment. Damnedest thing. Forerunner stuff. The high winds the plasma kicks up scatters things for miles. Stuff can get thrown into the molten soil. And if it doesn't burn up, it... It sticks like a fly in amber. Or things get caught in bubbles of ash, like inside a snow globe. And sometimes things just happen, like finding one single house untouched in a glass field. Figure that's just to help us remember. Make us remember. Up on a station, everything's white and gray and bland. Some folk are afraid of any place the corners aren't round. Wouldn't dream of living down here, where the ground is ash and glass. Good riddance. A few years' time, kids who come up on Meridian are gonna run this system. Bet your life. I'll get the guys who spend all day worrying about Governor Sloan. And you can't deny, he does a hell of a job. I'm sure he does that thing where he talks with two voices sometimes, but most folk do the same thing. Just aren't courteous enough to do it out loud. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I mean, I know he's got Meridian's best interests at heart. Uh, does he though? Because <laughs> he joins up with Cortana real quick. Governor, just got a message from Vivianathan. Losing his mind. Says he found something in the rock near Meridian Station. The unknown material and too damn big to be man-made anyway. I need to check his readings, but I wanted to give you a heads up. Governor Thiddy Anison talked me into letting him take a crew to see what was under the rock. They found, well, it looks like metal. Not slag. Nothing I know. I'll send you some sample readings shortly. And it has a big skull on it. Hey, Thiddy then. Sloan's saying to force it open. He can't wait to see what's behind that door. He figures Liang Dortmund might pay us a bonus if we find something good. Here's hoping for a finder's fee, yeah? Hmm. <laughs> Free Frontier Education presents The History of Meridian, Part 3. Despite the early success of the Prospector Party, the stewards gained control of Meridian after a lengthy campaign known as the Free Patriot Movement. The Colonial Administration Authority eventually recognized the stewards, ending years of strife. Free Frontier Education presents The History of Meridian, Part 7. Military production served as the colony's primary source of revenue, and the contract for the Scorpion MBT ensured Meridian's bright future. Equipping a team to rehabilitate a glass planet means accounting for its extreme conditions. Uniforms have to deal with extreme cold surface temps, as well as the heat generated by drills. Liang Dortmund set us up with some UNSC-developed tech, gel layer they call it. Goes on under your clothes and keeps temperatures steady. This stuff is magic. And I should have listened to my brother when he said taking this job was a bad idea. The air is full of tiny glass particles. Rips your lungs to shreds, you breathe enough of it. Ooh. Between the masks and the air filters on every building, I haven't had a breath of unfiltered air in three years. Near the same as living on a space station. Well, that's not good. On to evacuation. After five years of near constant fighting, insurrectionists lost control of Meridian to UNSC forces at the Siege of Athia. Rank and file members of the Sundered Legion were offered amnesty by UNSC officials, although their leaders would go on to stand trial in UEG courts. Almost immediately after Meridian was recaptured by the UEG, the Covenant arrived. Captain Edmund Percy of the UNSC Sevenfold Gates fought to the last, but was forced to order what few ships remained to fall back to the edge of Hestia's system. Within five hours of Captain Percy's retreat, Meridian was glassed, and all life there was eradicated. You had to see it. Matilda, I just thought you should know we're being evacuated. Now, don't panic. I'm sure it's nothing. Sloan just wants us to get clear of some potential trouble, and we'll be safer off-world. I'll call again when I'm clear. Matilda, I just watched the last mule take off. There's no more ships left. Sloan's telling us to move to the space elevator. So they're moving us to Warthogs. There's a lot of fighting going on out there, though. It doesn't seem safe. Matilda, I made it to the elevator, but now I'm stuck at the base. There's a huge line. I guess it wasn't made to carry so many people at once. I'm sure it'll be my turn soon, Matilda. I'll send you another message when I'm in orbit. 
<laughs> and that the was his final message. Is a mineral called Le Chatelorite. It is the result of the Covenant lances striking the surface of the planet with plasma, converting the topsoil to glass. Any attempt to make a glass planet habitable would mean cutting the surface down to below this topsoil. Okay, on to reunion. And then there was a bright flash. Guardian pulled us to paradise. The prophets were not liars. The great journey is for true. <laughs> I was wrong. The demon has come. This is our punishment. They look in my head and saw that I doubted. Oh, I never should have doubted. Oh, sorry, little grunt boy. Separated from the rest of my squad. We were pulled in from patrol around Obon and landed wherever this is. Bunch of cubbies already here, too. That's no good. With Bastion beyond my grasp, I turn to the possibility of the domain. However, there is corruption. The source untraceable. Investigations, but no returns. Time runs short. Oh, snap. This is Forerunner Builders talking about the domain from back in the day. Okay. Now you've got my interest. Acquisition of endurance proved difficult in these final days. An Ancilla has agreed to aid my efforts. Yet there is concern if he will carry through. However, if Bastion has indeed achieved the impossible, I must find a way of reaching them. If that path be through death and domain, so be it. Bastion is absent, not destroyed, simply missing. No other facility is near enough. A new course of action is required. Bastion's location is confirmed. How, though? After dispersal of the halos, an impossible act of reconciliation would be required. It may still be possible. Hmm, I feel like if any of you have any insight onto what on earth was actually being talked about there, I would like to hear it, because I feel like that went over my head. <laughs> I, I'm not entirely sure what he was on about there, but uh, I'd like to be pretty sure. If you've got the hot and spicy info? <laughs> Words are most powerful before blades are drawn. Okay. The sun warms those who stand before those who kneel in their shadows. Sangheili proverbs. Strength comes from recognizing another's weakness. The rumors are true. Jewel and Dama is dead. We should regroup on Hesteros. But my brothers would rather die in reckless attacks on the swords of San Helios than suffer the dishonor of a tactical retreat. Lol. Fain allegiance to the Arbiter, but on traitors working with the Covenant. Why do you skulk in the shadows? Come draw your blades. You live without honor. Must you die the same way? I will kill you all myself. Nah! I like him. Jewel and Dama is dead. The Covenant fractures. Soon the key. Contracts will expire. The swords of Saint Helios will stand triumphant. Oh yeah, because the the jackals are just in it for the money, right? So as soon as their contracts expire, they'll be like, "Nope, oh, fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> what a sneaky boy. Scout McKay's third patrol. We walked into an ambush. I repeat, a covenant ambush. Send reinforcements. Ketuna Rock, my brother. Though we fought as we were growing up, only now are we truly enemies. I hope you will see through the lies of Jewel and Dama. The swords of St. Helios would welcome a warrior as strong as you. Sang Helios is nothing but a stain on our homeworld history. Long 
Did that one mess up? It says it's 22 seconds, but it looked like it seemed like it was only playing like a few seconds. That was weird. We camp below the titans of old. The stone warriors meant to guard Sinaion against us, I suppose. Or are we retaking Sinaion from the occupying covenant with the titans at our backs? And when the great guardian awakes, will it save us or forsake us? My head swims. I long for problems that can be solved with a plasma grenade. <laughs> Don't we all? Spill blood outside of battle is a great dishonor. Words burned into all saying Healy since they were young. Into me. And for a time, I believed. I watched my brothers die around me and never dared give aid. Stitching a wound close brings dishonor. Setting a broken bone brings dishonor. Words of the ignorant ancient who never saw undetonated needle rounds pulsing beneath a brother's skin. If shame is the price of compassion, so be it. Good on you, Mr. Medic. Anthropological linguistics log, Kolat Kabram speaking. Our history is lost in a haze of lies and myth. As the covenant ends, I wish to relearn what we have lost. But the eroded and half-ruined glyphs in this place are maddening. Fragments of words dance before me. Here, prophecy. And here, reunite. Or restore. Then a warning. Something about responsibility. And a great drowning. I could study here for years. When I joined the Swords of St. Helios, I remained loyal to Jewel Amdava. Today, I had my chance to kill the heretic. The false arbiter. He was readying his armor. My hand fell to my weapon and I saw the mark branded on his chest. He bears the mark, yet at that moment I felt shame. His eyes caught mine and I looked away. It is strange. Perhaps there is more to him than I thought. Hmm. <laughs> when an assassin sees the light. He wants to impress him. Status update. I'm playing along with your protocol here, Tell. If the fours bring me an active. Con I'm sorry. It's pronounced Tell. It's it, you don't pronounce the H. It's not a th 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 sound. It's a t sound. Okay. Today I learned. Instructor, I can interface with the guardian. It will receive Cortana's signal the moment it activates and initiates slip space. But I think I can make sure it leaves the sea before it jumps. I'll get it in the skies over Sunayam, like you asked. In return, send me some assistance with brains in their heads, and loosen this damn security. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Erase previous recording, begin new recording. Uh, I saw you standing at your ship, with armored hand on armored hip. Both my hearts began to pound. So lovely was what I found. I love your brightly shining armor, human named Commander Palmer. <laughs> I wish that we. What are you doing here, Grunt? What are you laughing at? I will tear up your arms! <laughs> okay, this 
this entire video is worth it for that one. <laughs> Oh, this is the other side of the argument. The messages we heard the one guy on the Arbiter side send last time was to this dude trying to convince him to join the Arbiter side, and now we're hearing the the response. Jakorok, my brother, your tales in our hunts fill me with sadness for times gone. If your desire is to meet again, let it be as brothers united for the covenant. St. Helios is my home, our home. I have been a member of the Covenant since before birth. Now, nothing but lies and false hopes surround me. There is no honor in fighting your own kind. It is time for a new world of united elites. I feel lonely today. I lost Jib Jib this morning. He fell during the battle at the Elder Council Chambers. He thought he could kill the Arbiter and help the Ungoy's place in the Covenant. But one of the Spartans killed him. I will avenge him. I will kill the Spartans and keep their armor as a trophy! You can try. When night falls, even the greatest Colo herder will still smell like a Colo. <laughs> Great proverb. Yes, do it. Dear whoever finds this, hi, I am leaving. Joel and Dama is gone. Everybody's panicking because the Covenant is falling apart and, well, I don't want to die. So I'm going to go be a sword of St. Helios. Still be working for the St. Helios, but at least it would be on the winning side. Mm-hmm, <laughs> got him. Interesting. As I threw my banshee toward the Kraken, I could see the four humans running along the ridge below me. They were fighting uphill and greatly outnumbered, yet the Covenant forces barely slowed them down. Jul and Dama used to say humans could never stand against the glory of the Covenant. It shames me to think I once took orders from such a fool. <laughs> the battle was glorious. When I took to the air, my concerns about pleasing the Arbiter vanished. After all, there is no time to think about pride while taking turret fire. Good point. I destroyed the assigned targets while avoiding the Kraken's flailing arms, and the cursed thing crumbled beneath our onslaught. The victory honored us, and that is all I require. Security officers log. Okay, one thing that I am noticing is that I'm pretty sure every elite voice is the exact same dude doing the exact same elite voice, even though the writing at the bottom says that they're all different elites. It does sound like they're all the same elite, <laughs> just from the voice. And I do wish there was a bit of difference in, like, pitch and intonation, because, yeah, it sounds like every single one is from the same dude, but it isn't. Was able to convince a Covenant grunt to tell me how they track the Arbiter's movements. Marak Vadam of the Arbiter's Keep. The Covenant promised him power and prestige, a desperate ploy from a dying faction. Marak did not resist when he was questioned. Perhaps he thought 
thought the Arbiter would not execute a member of his own clan. <laughs> he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if my hypothesis be correct, soon the Dr. Halsey will release her spores and spin a cocoon of rich meat silk. Mm. Truly, this is a very exciting time to be making science. <laughs> well, Kat did the you same. You <laughs> talk a great deal about how little you need me tell. That you could take Sunion with or without the Guardian. That uniting this whole planet is within your grasp. Go ahead. Be as stubborn as you like. But do not ignore the past, and do not forget whom I represent. You talk constantly of respect. It's time you showed some. Consider this my final mandatory status update. <laughs> Bet she hates having to do those. What's the next one? Battle of Sunion? Yes. Jakulak, my brother. Now that we are free of the corruption of the Sanshum and the foolishness of Julem Gamma, you have no reason to refuse my offer of amnesty. Come home, brother. My brother, it seems our ancestors wished us to confront our stubbornness. Today, I killed you for your betrayals. Aww. Damn, that's sad. Speak not to the Holy Guardian of Sinaion. Pray only that it remains still. Let it not stir, else it tear our world asunder. Oh, Guardian. May this prayer keep him asleep forever. He keeps our world safe and protects the Covenant. The domain cannot be opened as long as he stays sleeping. Oh, Guardian, magnificent sleeper. I like Kit Pitlimp. <laughs> we have fallen back again and again, and now they are here. Here. The heretic filth has pushed into Sunion. What madness is this that our strength can be overcome by their weakness? Lamau, get wrecked. Do not ignore the words of those who saw the sun before you. No blade is sharp enough to cut an unknown enemy. So true. <laughs> What's three left, is it? Yeah, Genesis. So I've been thinking, if this place is supposed to be all perfect and made for us, how come nothing looks right? Where's the salty box, huh? Where's the methane springs? I mean, we can't even breathe over here. Not even the elites like it. I mean, who was this paradise made for, huh? I got no clue. <laughs> Interesting. Marine Selena Ronan here. Our last known location was circling the Guardian at Samaron. There was a sequence of shockwaves and then... Then we were here, wherever here is. Our pelican slipped spaced in and came under immediate fire. <sighs> Not many survivors. We'll try to find shelter and gather some supplies from the wreckage. <sighs> this is a nightmare. Over. Have fun trying not to die. Marie Gulas reporting in. So far, all we know about this planet is that it has hostels. We've spotted Covenant. They probably got pulled along accidentally, same as us. We're holed up and maintaining a defensive perimeter. But the Covies get aggressive when they're confused, and we're low on ammo. I don't know how long we can hold on. 
unfortunate. Marine AJ Cats reporting again. Just had to change location. Those robot things came after us hard. We went through the hills and could see Covenant ships getting slip spaced in and crashing all over the place. For now, we're bunkered by some structure. Started moving a little while ago. Don't know why. Don't know if we'd be safer nearby or if we should get away from it. Don't know much. Over. You never do. The Guardians sounded their mighty call and tore the stars apart. They brought us here. The ships of believers and heretics alike were flung to the fertile ground where the survivors engage in a glorious slaughter. Yes, to die here in the home of the gods is the highest honor. I cannot wait. <laughs> well, at least he found some Orgon solace. Gone. Domain burned, damaged, so many lost, missing. I knew it! Kit Pitlin has always been bound for destiny! I speak as one who has undergone the great journey! Now, I will talk to the gods! I will be a god! I will... What is that creature? If you are a god, I worship you! Otherwise... Worship me! Wait, no, no! Aww, poor Kit Pitlimp. I'm sorry, but dude. The warden made a pact. With whom? How does he walk once more? And Scylla knew how. She reassembles. She cures herself. Soon. Mm, builders against it. The Ancilla. She knows I'm here. She hunts me. Interesting. Final, final level. Are they all going to be Forerunner ones? His name was no. He was a mere grunt, scarred though spirited past his useful years. His advice was unconventional. Fight as if there was no honor in death. He guided us to victory in conflict after conflict, and while we reveled in our glory, he mourned every brother we lost along the way. Wait, I'm sorry. This elite was being led by a grunt? <laughs> that seems unusual. As the war went on, Bibjan became more concerned with protecting us. When we finally caught him betraying our movements to the swords of St. Helios, he told us capture was the only way for us to avoid death. He truly believed he found a way to save us. I could not meet his gaze when I ran him through. Wow. Bastion. What the f- Wait, wait, hang on, what was that? Come again? I can't understand a word of that. Construct a network under Warden control. Control can be taken back. External, though. The monitor could help if only I could speak to her. Bastion. Bastion. And Scylla distracted. Warden as well. Domain repairing. Healing. I feel clear for the first time in... Okay, what is Bastion? Because he's been going on about Bastion for a long, long time. He was going on about Bastion before the Halos were fired, and he's still going on about Bastion now and saying it still lives. Do we have any fucking clue what this Bastion is? The hand of the Didact was broken. Why have none risen to take his place? The abiding truth will not persist if none are left alive to speak it. If I am branded a heretic for doubting the Forerunner's promise, then so be it. This is Pilot 28-5 Lee from Dropship Boza, coming down on an unknown planet. Mayday, Mayday. Sending our location now. 
We've been caught in a slipspace bubble of an unknown entity. I managed to get out of the crash site with the mantis, but I'm injured. I had to find a safe place. Catching my breath. I've seen more UNSC dropships coming with those slip space bubbles. No survivors found yet. I need to rest. I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, is that one more? Spartan Ops. And that's the end. Okay, that was a reference to Spartan Ops, which is interesting because uh, I thought they were just going to sweep that fully under the rug. <laughs> they left it in one, uh, one little reference there. Okay, those are interesting. The, a the absolute best one was the Elite Love Poem. That was some hilarious stuff, man. That was brilliant. Uh, a lot of it was just kind of like background info, which like, sure, it's good to know, I guess, but doesn't really matter. There were some more interesting ones, like the four, all the Forerunner record ones, I would love to know what the fuck they were on about. Uh, the ones between the two elites on both sides of the war, those were really good. And uh, the little grunt, oh, hiccup, pardon me, the little grunt one. Well, a few different little grunts, actually, they were, they were good. But there were a lot that were like, kind of like, eh, don't, not really necessary. But, you know, it's better than nothing, although I feel like of all the games that have terminals in them, which is all of them? Yeah, all of them. Well, I guess Reach didn't have any voiced ones. So I guess this is probably better than Reach in that at least it was voiced, but then the Reach ones I'd say were probably more interesting in, in terms of the content of them. So, yeah, I don't know. Eh, it's fine, it's fine. It was, They weren't bad per se it's just i didn't find myself as intrigued by them as i did for pretty much all the others i guess oh well hopefully uh halo infinite will uh, have more regular normal terminals we shall see okay so that wraps up the regular halo 5 stuff that is that is the full fps series up to this point complete so there is going to be one more bonus video um I guess I'll probably, I will call it a Halo 5 bonus 2, I guess, even though it's not really Halo 5 related, it's the whole, it's it's sort of like a separate thing, but I don't know where else to put it in terms of playlists or anything, so we'll pretend it's a Halo 5 thing, and um, yeah, that'll be tomorrow, that'll be talking about uh, rankings for the games and best and worst levels from the series, my opinions on those, uh, and I'll hopefully... In tomorrow's comment section, if you can leave your uh, own ranking lists, not in this one, do it in the next one. Uh, I'd be interested to see that, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. And then I will be watching the first two trailers for Infinite that are out at this point. This is, of course, before the uh, Xbox stream has happened. Uh, and yeah, I'll be watching. I think it was the E3. I think it's just E3 trailers, 2018 and 2019, that they've showed stuff off. Uh, and then that will be it for the FPS games. And then the day after that, we begin the RTS games, which is going to be a whole nother thing because I've never played an RTS and I'm probably going to suck. But uh, it's Halo <laughs> and I'm, I'm pretty interested and apparently they are important. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for rankings and reactions to Halo Infinite trailers. Thanks again. See you then.